Faruka Ba. Here we have another olive and top treasure in the same chapter as the last video. We're in 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 8. Or if you have the Ed Sefer or a Hebrew Bible, it is chapter 5, verse 22. And it is in the English, then Hiram or Hiram. Hiram is how the Hebrew says, who is the king of Lebanon. He sent to Solomon saying, I have heard, which is Shamati. It says in English considered, but Shema is hero Israel. So I would say this is Shamati, which is heard. I have heard Aleph and Tav. Shmati, standalone olive and tov, which you sent me, and I will do all you desire concerning the cedar and cypress logs. So, Vaishlak Hiram, and he sent, who sent Hiram to Shlomo, El Shlomo, yeah, Lemur, and said, I have heard Olive and Tav that you sent me. So you can see in the Hebrew that there is no such word for the message. It is literally a standalone Olive and Tav. So you can mark that in your Bible if you're keeping up with them. And just as a bonus, since we kept this one pretty short, in chapter 6 of 1 Kings, verse 13 and it is 13 in the English also we have Vyakan uh, no Vashakanti and I will dwell inside the children of Israel Betok is literally inside where it says in the English, and I will dwell among the children of Israel and will not forsake my people of Israel. Let's give this some context. Then the word of Yahovah came to Solomon saying, concerning this temple which you are building, see he's even talking about the temple, if you walk in my statutes, execute my judgments, keep all my commandments, and walk in them, then I will perform my word with you which I spoke to your father David, and I will dwell inside the children of Israel and will not forsake my people Israel. So, is that the indwelling of the Holy Spirit? If you do all these things? Just something to consider. Alright, love you guys. Thanks for listening, and have a blessed rest of your week. Lay out.